Hello everybody, it's Monday and it's Christmas Eve and today I'm going to share with you a calendar that I've been working on for the past week. Uh, it's a gift from my mom. I made two of them simultaneously. One for my son's uh, grandmother and one for my mom. And it's uh, the frame of it is like an iron frame and it came from Michael's and uh, it has all of these um, pages that come with it. I did need, it comes with 10, so I did need to buy a uh, refill pack so I could have enough for 12. And I used the Graphics 45. Um, sorry, that thing's falling. <laughs> I used the Graphic 45 Place in Time 8x8 page, and I made my entire calendar out of this and one page from the Graphics 45 ABC Primer for, that I used for September. Um, I used my embellishments that I had at home and but I would say the bulk of this like 75 to 85 percent is just the Graphics 45 paper. Now I'm going to set this up here so that you can see it. I'm going to make sure I measured where to set this so I hope that I do it right for you. And um, I'm going to start out with January. Make sure that you can see. And I used the papers and I used a Tim Holtz embellishment there. That's January. Here's February. I used some bling, some Graphic 45 um, flower, uh, some old uh, glitchy stuff that I had, but again it's mostly the paper. Here is March. I used some burlap for the nest material. I used gathered twigs to to tint it. Um, some flowers I had, uh, a little bit leftover bling from the last page, a Graphics 45 clothespin so they can put memos on there, and again the paper. Here's April, and this is a Tim Holtz die with a mini rabbit, and um, some stamps that I had, some some uh, lace trim, some metal embellishments. This is pretty cool. It's like a velvet flower. Here is um, May, and again, most of the paper I use a tiny little. Uh, dollar store doily that I got a whole package of like 12 for only a dollar and tinted it with uh, some chalk ink amethyst chalk ink I think it was but again mostly the paper here is June on here I used a couple of the tags the place and time tags some flowers and some pearls Here's July. I made a rosette and then used one of the tag buttons for it. And I cut uh, little banners and put it on some baker's twine. Here's August. Again, most of the paper with a couple of metal embellishments. I tried to put some a metal embellishment at least once on each page. These are the centers of my flowers are the candies and they're white and I tinted this one with the Vintage um, ink. Okay, here's my whoops, got caught. Here's my page from September that I used the uh, ABC Primer page for and I just fussy cut it out, cut around the books and stuff and then I um, used some pop dots over top of it. I used one of Tim Holtz light bulbs, I used a key, um, got a little paper clip on here or a binder clip and over here a pen nib and one of the tags. A lot of my inspiration I got from the Graphics 45 blog post that I get in my email every day but I, did, I didn't do everything exactly the same way. Sometimes I altered it a little bit, sometimes I altered it a lot and like September I did a completely different thing. So here's the um, Halloween one, the October one. Mostly paper on this one. Um, no metal embellishment on this one though. I kind of think I missed that. A little bit of bling. Okay, and here is November. 
and I just love this burlap flower with the antique button in the middle and I got some leafy brads and I've had these for maybe two three years finally found a use for them so you know we make fun of ourselves for hoarding things or buying things that we think we might use someday well I did I use these someday and I'm glad I had them and the last one then is December let me pull this over right and this one I did completely different from the one, the blog post, because it was just way too busy. It used the Nutcracker Suite, and I was going for vintage for this whole calendar. And I got the, the metal reindeer and the metal bells of Tim Holtz. Got a tag down here, a tag up here. Put a snowflake tag on December 25th. And then on the back of this, a page that comes is a page like this and I didn't use these cut them up I used I bought um, a sheet of jelly bean calendar paper and used it because I wanted the calendar parts to be bigger than these so I just put this in on the back uh, as a behind page and then I signed it down here handmade for you with lots of love in my name and the year so I really think that my mother and my uh, son's grandmother is going to love is going to love this because they both like vintage and they both appreciate my handmade work. But I wanted to share with this this with you. It took me oh just about a week of working on this uh, around my regular work 40 hour shift, and I did two of them at the same time. So while it, it is kind of a lot of work, you know, it's like the work of a mini album. It was fun, and I looked forward to working on it every day. And I made two of them in a week's time because I did it my assembly line fashion. But I wanted to share this with you. And the frame is um, sells for $14.99 regularly at Michael's. And I got it with a 40% off coupon, both of them. And on the back is just the the dark page. But, you know, you, you could put something else as a backing. I didn't. But they could use those that area to um, put photos in or some journaling or some memorabilia from that month. So I will take a picture of each of these pages and post it on the blog as well. But I wanted to share this with you and I want to miss you, wish you a Merry Christmas. And I'm going to take a week off next week. There won't be a Monday Musings next week on New Year's Eve, but I will be back the week after. So have a great Christmas. And uh, I hope you've had a happy Hanukkah and anything else you celebrate. Merry Christmas. Bye.